How to be victorious in any situation. Habakkuk 3 verse 17 and 18 Although the fig tree shall not blossom, neither shall there be fruit in the vines. The labor of the olive oil shall fail, and the field shall yield no meat. The flock shall be cut off from the fold, and there shall no be, be no herds in the stalls. Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. Yet. Please encircle this word. Please meditate on this word. Yet. In today's terms, I would like to explain verse 17. Even if my bank balance is zero, even if there is no way for my income to increase, yet I will still be happy. Or another implication for verse 17 is, even if I'm praying for a husband but I'm single, yet I will be happy. Or, even if I'm lonely and I do not have any WhatsApp messages from friends, no phone calls from someone asking how I am doing, no invitations to a party, yet I will be happy. Or, even if I'm praying for a job and I've ne not been invited to any interviews, yet I will be happy. Or, even if the medical diagnosis says I only have two months to live and there are no care for my illness, yet I will be happy. This has been such a profound message for me last year, but this year God took it to another level, to the next level. I'm an oral hygienist and daily I would pray for nice patients. Patients that firstly do not make me feel like I am an agent of torture. Secondly, page, patients are the ones, like the ones that I can connect with easy. We can talk about a variety of topics, not only teaching them how to floss, but that we can have meaningful conversations. But yesterday I had a difficult patient, so I implemented my yet prayer. Even though I have prayed for nice patients, God, this one is a challenging one to me. Yet, I want to be happy. Please God, show me, teach me how to still have fun. I truly believe that God is the God of fun, the humoristic God who wants us to have fun and enjoy life. John started this letter with the following words, 1 John 1 verse 4, And these things that we write unto you, that your joy may be full. You see, God wants us to be happy to have full joy, like you fill up your petrol tank in your car. I believe the same is what God wants to do. He wants to fill up our joy tanks. Daniel was thrown into the lion's den. Daniel slept peacefully in the lion's den. The king that threw him into the lion's den had an uncomfortable night. Slept, sleep evaded him. I think we as believers have the same anointing in our life. Just like Daniel slept peacefully in the midst of danger, danger and life threats, threats, God teach us how to live happy and yet in the yet according to Habakkuk 3. Jacob worked for 14 years for his uncle Laban to marry the love of his life. Yet God made the waiting period easy for Jacob. May God also make the waiting period easy for us. Eliezer, Abraham's slave, did a journey of 17 days in only 3 hours. God, God fast forwarded time for Eliezer. Sometimes we too are waiting for our happily ever after. May God also, if necessary, fast forward the time for us, even if it means that God has to bless us with a time machine. We as believers can be victorious in any situation. All we have to do is pray. Please God, please switch on the button of yet in our life. Amidst, amidst our circumstance, circumstances, I choose to say, yet I will be happy in God. The end.